Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna finish uh, histogram module. This module, we are gonna finish in this video with the Klahe. Lastly, and Kla what is Klahe? It stands for Contrast Limited Advanced Histogram Equalization. It stands for, and what it does. In the previous video, we already learned about equalize his function, and this is, I can say, the smart version of that function. That's all. We will more understand why it is smart in the code part. Okay and uh, this is basically taking two input one is the clip limit threshold for contrast limiting and the other one grid size which is the uh, we are dividing image into the grids we are defining that size which will which it will be okay these are two functions also this is actually a class and we are seems like co calling the constructor okay but uh, the, those input we can also separately setting and we are can also the, get the current parameters of those uh, variables we can say those setting variables we can also dynamically getting and at the end after the configurations which is two uh, variable we are defining after that we can directly apply our image that Klahe okay this is the short uh, introduction then let's go pass to the code part in here I have two images to apply one is this room picture and the other one this one I'm gonna apply uh, my Klahe to these inputs but to understand Klahe more easily more clearly we need to compare with the normal histogram equalization so we can more understand clearly what's the difference between each other why we need that okay this code uh, basically I'm just defining image my windows I'm defining then this is the destination which will be output and uh, if you check my previous equalizes video you will more cl clearly understand that I'm just splitting because just like equalize his function Klahe also taking the input as one channel so you can give only one channel at a time so I'm just splitting all of the channels which is blue green and uh, red channels I'm splitting them then at the end I'm just merging to be able to see the in the to be able to see the difference in three channel which is RGB channel image I, I wanna see the clearly difference okay this is the uh, Klahe calling how we are calling how we are defining then after that we are just uh, creating our Klahe this is the clip limit and this is the grid size this egg to egg for example any image you have any resolution you are uh, dividing it to the grids which is egg to egg for example if we have egg under to egg under grid uh, Klahe if you give 8 to 8 each grid will be like this you can we can say like this so at all will be uh, 64 grid it will be this is meaning that the setting clip limit is ab about the contrast uh, you are limiting the contrast for example 100 if you want to get the darker areas more brighter you need to increase this but if you one optimal which is the default one also 40 50 60 will be a good choice to apply okay this is like this instead of giving uh, inside these parentheses we can delete this and we can also directly define bar dynamically which is glahe that set clip limit then let's say 40 and same like that we can also define uh, set grids grid size which is like uh, CV size egg to egg totally same just we are we are we are able to uh, setting these parameters dynamically let's pass to the back to the normal more easy okay after this what is next I'm just applying each channel and merging nothing else we are gonna see the uh, result now but for me let's see the first of all equalize his results so we can compare with that equalize his uh, just consider the image globally so it we there is a histogram of this image and equalize his just stretching that histogram if it is uh, it it is only in a somewhere inside the graph the equalize is stretching that histogram and becoming like this what we see in here let me tell you clearly the brighter part in the input image becoming the the top level which is 255 you can check in the RGB value here becoming more brighter also you can see by your eyes and 
the darker part uh, you can see little opening but it's still really darker so uh, we can say the most brighter part even this is a uh, little more darker it will became brighter the brightest part in the output image so this is not really good in some cases then uh, let's see the Klahe result and we will more easy to compare each other in here uh, Klahe since dividing to the grids and consider by grid by grid each area considering around so it's not taking the image uh, globally considering the image globally so for example this part that not not really brighter in here also this part is not really darker it's little opening and uh, we can say the big difference between them Klahe does not uh, consider the image globally but greatly which we are defined also there is contrast so applying contrast higher for example here now like this if you more uh, increase that you will get the darker part more uh, brighter but in some cases this is not good so you should uh, choose the best parameter for your case okay this is the first image we want to talk the other image let's see the okay this is the other one the name is B and let's see this is let's back to the 50 again better and this is the output you can see uh, this is input and Klahe gives this output uh, I already get some output to compare more easily these are my outputs for example that image this is the output and this is the other one uh, the right side here this is equalized hist output which you can see here the brighter part becoming really brighter and the darker part becoming again more darker but in Klahe part it's not directly uh, making the brightest part brightest part in the input the in the output also not making directly brightest part it considered the greatly so we dividing egg to egg for example it consider in this area that grid the region regionally taking care of those area so it's just considering that grid and not making the uh, that part really brighter this is the difference you can check also i can easily say the left side is more better result and also other one for example this is Klahe output and this is the uh, histogram equalization the normal histogram equalization output you can also compare between two this part you can see how brighter here and you can check you can compare other parts also uh, this parameter is optimal is not optimal but the default one is 40 and 8 to 8 you can change them if you increase this much for example uh, let's mix 8 to 8 you will get little weird because uh, the higher resolution is better to use the higher grid sizes if you make like this you will get this kind of weird inputs so increasing these values higher is not really a good option and this is about the darker areas if you wanna see really clearly you need to increase the contrast value in here but in other cases it's better to use 40 50 60 in that kind of okay uh, by this video we finished the uh, Klahe not Klahe but histogram uh, module this module we are already finished and in the next video we are gonna start a new module see you in the next videos